After you make a round of ammo, you can inspect it and verify every feature of it, except what powder's in it and how much. This helps you catch issues before they blow up in your face. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm here with John Vlieger from Mark 7. Thank you for joining us, John. Great to be here, man. We have the Apex 10 with AutoDrive. We've been working on videos, working our way through the various sensors, and now it's time to talk about powder check. What is this thing and what does it do? Well, it's a go or no-go sensor for your powder level. Okay, you're operating automated, maybe you mm -hmm. look away from the machine, and you have that, you don't have a warm and fuzzy in your head that everything's on the up and up. Right. So this sensor is, uh, stops the machine in the event of an overcharge or an undercharge scenario. Mm -hmm. You set your powder level, what you're trying to achieve, and then you set the sensor based off that. Okay. And, and it's going to talk to the auto drive, and if we have a problem, stop things, huh? Stops the machine at the top of the stroke, gives you yeah. the operator the chance to assess mm -hmm. and say, okay, no, that is the right amount of powder. I need to adjust my setting, or mm -hmm. whoo, that saved me. That was a split case or didn't have a primer in it. Various reasons. Powder can bridge. Your powder measure yes. can fly off if you don't have the set screw tightened down, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things. You can just run out of powder, right? Yeah. 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 All those reasons are, are yeah. equally valid. And having a sensor that gives you that peace of mind. Yeah. I, mean, I, I tell people, I, I'd run to my machine, my personal machine, with no sensors except powder check. Yeah. Okay, I, I want that confidence. How many people have stories about loading 50 rounds, 100 rounds, 1,000 rounds, mm -hmm. 10,000 rounds, and having that question mark around when did yep. that powder problem happen? I know I've had it. I've had to break down hundreds of rounds, and it's, it's no fun. So this is, this is awesome. Uh, why don't we get it installed on the machine mm -hmm. and do a quick demo? Sounds good, man. So before we install the powder sense, we need to decide what probe we're going to use mm -hmm. and what check rod. Gotcha. Every kit comes with four probes, small rifle, large rifle, small pistol, and large pistol. Mm -hmm. We're loading nine, so we're going to use the small pistol. Gotcha. And when it comes to the check rods, the uh, large, the macro check rod is less sensitive. That's meant for rifle. You okay. know, with rifle, you have a giant stack of powder. Yep. You're not really worried about a double charge there. You're more worried about an undercharge. Yes. So we want to have a little bit more acceptability there so it doesn't throw off or throw a, throw a code, so to speak, uh, you know, because of case volume considerations. Yeah, right. So we have our small check rod, our more sensitive check rod, mm -hmm. and we have our small pistol probe. I can just take a, uh, my 564, break the set screw loose on the sensor itself, remove the die body. We can actually start threading that in. Sure. Just Okay. Just get it most of the way. We're going to take our micro rod, put it through our housing, and at this point, we can thread our appropriate probe into the rod. It doesn't have to shoulder out, just make sure it's snug. Okay. And then it's as simple as throwing the sensor body up on the die body. Okay, and I'm going to reach around this side. I'm just going to snug this up. I, I want it to still be loose so it uh, moves, but I don't want it to come off. Gotcha. And that's while we're setting the height. Correct. Yeah. We're going to snug up our set screw on its groove. That's solid there. Back it off. That lets us move the die body yeah. for our powder charge. Gotcha. We'll undo the cable. It plugs into port number four. So we have it installed. Mm -hmm. Now we need to adjust the height of the die body so that at the, uh, with a proper powder charge, the rod is flush with the ears of the housing. Okay. So what's cool is this actually functions as a mechanical check if you're watching it. Yeah, like a visual. Huh? Exactly. It gives you that visual, boom, I have powder, I have powder. That's an overcharge. Yeah. Undercharge, undercharge. Think of yeah. it like a height sensor. Sure. It's an easier First way to setup, think that it. seems like a really handy thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, and, and running. <laughs> uh, next, uh, next step is to drop a powder charge. So I can do a single cycle here. And then it's as simple as move to bottom. Oh. So we got a little lucky with our setting. We're moved to bottom over a properly powdered charge. And we are perfectly flush, huh? about perfectly flush with the ears. Mm -hmm. So the next step is to verify that it runs the machine with a properly powdered uh, charge and then check it with no powder and check it with a double charge. Yep. Whole point of the sensor is to catch those things. We want to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. So we can end cycle. Get that out of there, put it back in, and we're just going to let the machine run with that sensor enabled. And what should happen is you do one cycle successfully. 
do the second cycle and then stop at the top of the stroke. Great, stop the machine with case powder level incorrect. That case isn't expanded, so it didn't want to hold on to a bullet. Right, right. So we just got verification that no powder, no case mm -hmm. sets off the machine. Now we're gonna do the dangerous part where you need to pay attention when you check this. We're gonna force a double charge by just running the machine again. Yep. And I always recommend people look at what a double charge looks like with their components. Yep. So that... About seven eighths of a tank full. Exactly, <laughs> but you'd still be able to see the bullet on top of that. Yes. And that's a bad day. It. Yep, definitely. So we're gonna turn on powder sense and let's run it. We see the mm -hmm. probe go uh, north of the ears case powder level incorrect. It stops at the top of the stroke to give the operator a chance to assess what's going on. If it stops yep. at the bottom of the stroke, that doesn't help you. You still have to move the tool head up. Yep. So at this point, we can do the simple next step of just running a no powder case through it as our last check. Case powder level incorrect. Very good. So doing those checks before each run mm -hmm. is going to give you that confidence. It's going to get rid of the fuzz factor in your head about, did I turn it on? Did mm -hmm. I verify it set correctly? As long as it's on during your run, you'll have that confidence. Very good. So that is powder sense and the powder check sensor. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a great addition to the Apex 10. I love it. I am, won't run a machine without it if you, <laughs> if you ask me. It just gives you that warm and fuzzy. Yep. So make sure you check out the other videos that cover the rest of the sensors for the Apex 10 and Auto Drive. And if you have specific feedback, questions, drop a comment. Let's start a discussion. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you want to learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're going to want to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.